Hey everybody, welcome back to D-Zoned. So I did mention last week, well I mentioned it in the comments that we were going to play another map by the author of Halls.Wad. And this one is called Armory. So let's go ahead and do that. We just happen to have it in D-Zone 2, the 1000 Wad collection. We do indeed have a text file for it, so let's go ahead and just pop that open and see what he has to say. Armory.wad by Doug Branch, miscellaneous author. I love Doom, and I want more levels. Here is one, and I welcome any comments. Oh, you're going to get some comments. Description, the armory. What a perfect place to end up. So many damn hell spawn around, now you can mop them up. Be careful, security is tight, and there are measures to keep the weapons safe. With some skill, you can get to them and take care of business. So, um, there we go. Additional credits to Design Assistants, Holly Patterson, John Costello, Chris Colon, Playtesters, Holly Patterson, John Costello, Chris Colon, Sean Creed, Dave C.A., Kurt Shockey, and Josh Perry. Play information, episode level, E1, M2, single player, co-op, deathmatch, difficulty, yes, 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 and of course. New sounds, graphics, music, and demos, no, 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 and none. Multiplayer tested on serial player or serial cable only. Wow. Construction, base, new level from scratch, 40 plus hours of editing time, 20 plus hours of playtesting time. Editors used, do 5.21. You'd better not use this level to, as a base to build additional levels. You may distribute this wad, provide you include this file, etc., etc. Yep, there we go. Oh, this actually is kind of a similar thing to what we saw in the previous one. I would also like to thank Raphael Quinet and all those who worked with him for making available do 5.21 and previous versions. Without this great editor, this wad file would not have been possible. If you do not have the latest version of do, you can get it via anonymous, anonymous FTP in a <laughs> on an FTP server that probably doesn't exist anymore. I would also like to thank id software for creating doom and occupying so much of my time now if they could just figure out a way for me to get some kind of college credit for playing so yeah same note from halls.txt so let's go ahead and give this one a shot shall we as far as the music goes for e1m2 we have Ev eternity by tristan clark and for the intermission screen we've got core by stuart wren let's go Okay, that's a lot of secrets. Actually, a decent number of kills, too. And kind of as uh, I've sort of become accustomed to from Halls, yeah, the author's got a reasonably good, um, good handle on Doom's visuals. A lot of barrels here. Seems like a very safe thing to keep in an armory, just a lot of explosive barrels. I mean, it's good for me, to some extent. As long as I don't blow myself up. Uh, this feels a bit too easy. Yep, called it. Oh, it did do a lot. Ow. That's a secret? I mean, that's a secret. <laughs> I don't think that's debatable. <laughs> but uh, the first one, yeah, I don't know about that. So I'm kind of curious about how this is laid out, because in the previous one it had a lot of secrets that were very much, that very much felt deathmatch only. Bruh, I don't... Okay, this makes me uncomfortable. I'm just going to go ahead and start the chain, and we're going to go ahead and hit the door. Extra DPS be damned. Uh... Oh boy. I just feel like I'm going deeper into the base. I mean, this isn't... <laughs> and you know, the epic of eternity music is definitely adding to the mood. Yeah, and even here, I mean, it, it, we kind of saw this in Halls as well, where the author will use um, similar looking textures. Well, that's misaligned. But it's not activatable. Hmm. But he uses very kind of similar looking textures and manages to put them together in a reasonably good way. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I knew it had to be misaligned for a reason. You know the important part? Is that it's aligned now. So, there we go. But, okay. <laughs> it sounded like the imps came from, like, an extreme... 
right side. Let's wind up looking down that hallway. There we go. Good shot, Spectre. <laughs> You're really good at what you do. So what do we have up here? Does this take me? No, that takes me back into that slime room. Okay, well, I guess I don't have a choice. Man, this is like the most epic elevator ride music ever. So... Yeah, I went through all the major areas, but this... Everything seems pretty interconnected. Like, this takes us over here, in that familiar place. Let's go over here. Ooh, green marble. I see the uh, interior decorators went, uh... You know, kind of had a little bit more freedom and stuff in this section. Huh. I guess that's just kind of there. Ugh, oh, jeez. Killing an imp in that many hits is just depressing. Right, so... I don't really want to grab that just yet. So I don't think we can go in there. We also don't have the red key. So those are all flickering, so it's not like one of them's a secret. At least I don't think so. Well, you know, we got that blue door. That's uh, going to be our next step, I believe. So let's just swing over here and back into this little hub. Hubba hubba. Don't know how he missed me, but I'll take it. Hmm. I see another misaligned wall that's totally not going to be a trap. Uh, well, I wasn't really expecting that to happen, but that's fine. There we go. What did that do? Did it raise this? Was there a bridge? Or was this bridge always here? I don't really know. What the? Oh, that... That tiny little slit up the... Yeah. Really? <laughs> I don't know about that one, man. I also don't know about how I ended up having the invisibility and still took that many shots. Oh, okay, it wasn't just a little slit. It was actually a shoot-throughable wall. Yeah, there we go. That makes sense. Ooh, 20 damaging floor. Bro. <laughs> Have mercy. Yeah, I can't say I'm the biggest fan of these secrets. That was kind of the same uh, same deal as it was in the previous map. Although, these ones do feel a bit more discover discoverable and worthwhile. Oh no, that icon. Last time I saw that icon was in... Uh... Okay, not the last time, but one of the last times I've seen this was in Doom Part 2, where I ended up getting absolutely wrecked by a trap. Ah, fun. A whole lot of waiting on these elevators. Do, 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 do. Oh, you son of a bitch. I mean, technically that's how you're supposed to do elevators in Doom, but... <laughs> they don't... They just don't need to be this long. Oh, man, this is... This is kind of painful, not gonna lie. Okay, and up we go. This is vaguely disconcerting. Actually, there's nothing vaguely disconcerting about it. This is just straight up disconcerting. No, not more lifts. Why? I mean, it wouldn't be so bad if they didn't take so long to get down and go back up and all that other stuff. Oh, great. Well, that's just the right thing to have when you don't have any sort of, like, decent weapons. Why well, do I get the feeling that I wasn't supposed to be here yet? I mean, there is a teleporter pad. It's also those cacos that are guarding that switch, which I kind of want to hit. Could get these guys in fighting, but... 
Uh, those cacos are not being... There you are. Look at you. That's way too many barons for this uh, number of cacos as well. So, um... Yeah, I don't know about this. So what opened up? I heard a door. Mm-hmm. What's this? That is kind of useless. I mean, I guess it's teleporter time. Because... I'm not shotgunning that many barons. Screw that. Now, do I get, like, rockets here? Is that how this is gonna work? Maybe? See, now that's actually reasonable, reasonable damage floor. Damaging floor. Wait, that... Okay. Maybe I go there later. Oh, I don't like all these barrels. Okay. So, plasma rifle, that would have been nice to have in that previous area. So, yeah, this is just a matter of going to the wrong area at the wrong time, which is something I couldn't have possibly known about. What? <laughs> I know it's probably just the imp, like, hitting the barrel. Yeah, it really felt like I kind of... <laughs> it really... It really kind of felt like the um, barrel exploded when I hit that button. Oh, okay. The barrel somehow moved slightly. Unless it was slightly inside the door. That's probably what happened, actually. Right. So I don't need that right now. So we're just gonna go ahead and just shotgun these guys. That's a secret? Like, I just walked in here. Yes, these secrets are just kind of... It's not like 13 legitimate secrets. We'll put it that way. Well, this is where that leads. So what's up? Wait. That area back here, that's a BFG. I like BFGs. Now, the question is, how do I get to said BFG? Or up there. Or anywhere. Okay, you know what? That door's bothering me. Yeah, I think what happened there is they put the uh, barrel too close to the door, so it was able to open but not close freely. Uh, I really get the feeling that the way to get to the BFG is somewhere back here. Like, I can't imagine it being that far into the map. I mean, I could be wrong. It's not like I really need it, but it would certainly be nice to have. Hmm. Oh, hello. Oh, wait a minute. That... It's not fair. Didn't do that on the other side. Uh... Jeez. Oh, Thanks, auto aim. <laughs> Imagine if it were that easy to just get a BFG. Or is it? Did I really... Did I press it with feeling? Okay. I'm pressing it with a lot of feeling this time and it's not doing anything, so, um... Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and, uh... Go with that not being that straightforward to get. And by, by that, I mean just pressing the wall. Because, I mean, it doesn't get much more straightforward than that. And, I mean, it would be nice to have the rocket launcher before... Oh my god, I'm going to have to go up the lifts again. Fudge! It's not quite... Not quite worthy of an F-bomb. But it's pretty damn close. Right, so this... Shoot. Also, I'm pretty sure that... Did I get the yellow key up here? Oh. What the fuck? Okay, that was worthy of an F-bomb. They came all the way down the elevators. Okay, yeah, I actually do need the BFG now, because there's no way in hell I'm going to be able to get past them. Okay. So that's a bit bad. 
Um, so what I'm going to do, just to kind of state my curiosity, is I'm like... I mean, it looks like that's a teleport destination. So, I mean, it could realistically be anywhere. Hmm. And this whole area back here was a quote-unquote secret area. <laughs> if you want to call it that. It's not like up here, is it? I mean, this is right across the way. It would make some degree of sense. No, maybe not. Hmm. Okay. I just still can't get over the music selection. But, hey, you know. <laughs> the game knows what's good, I guess. <sighs> Man, getting through all those barons is basically going to be pretty much impossible. So, the rocket launcher isn't going to help. How did they get down there? Unless... They, that area literally just opened up. Wait, there's something up that way. And we never actually did go to the red door. So, um, yeah. Let's give this a shot, I guess. Maybe this leads there. Somehow. I mean, like I said, it is a teleporter, so... Actually, just keep going back into the barrels. No, not gonna. You're an asshole. Oh, come on! There we are. So, um... Is that actually... That is actually the exit. Okay. Well, <laughs> so there are still quite a few secrets here. Now... Yep, there it is. Well, they were right about... Yep. Oh, okay goes around to that side. They were definitely right about this, uh, some of these things not being particularly easy to discover. Now, how do I get down there, I wonder? Not like that. Unless there's something in here. I mean, technically I could exit. Those barons aren't really that big of a problem, but at the same time, I do not want to half-ass this. See, I mean, even with these older wads, I do like to give them my full ass. As much as they absolutely do not want to see that. No, you know what? I'm not going to wall hump, because that's the problem. Is this does... If it's anything like the last map, it is going to require wall humping. What the hell? <laughs> And yeah, I ain't about that life. So, follow mode off. Yeah, like some of these walls just kinda randomly open. Nice try. He tried to get away. He failed. What? Well, that was just too easy. Okay, so you just jump in here. <sighs> well. Huh, now where am I? Oh. Okay. So this is an area that connects to that other section. Does this go back into... Yeah, it does. Okay. Yeah, see, like, this would have just... This would have just driven me nuts. Because, look at that, there's... Oh wait, there's that little seam right there. Okay, fair point. Fair point. Sure, thank you. TYVM. And, uh... Alright, so that area is basically taken care of. <laughs> Got a whole bunch of secrets really fast. Now, what about this one over here? 
Uh, that actually is visible. Barely. But it is visible. Yeah, I got the punchy fist. Which I think I already have it, so, um... Eh. The more the merrier, I guess. And I did find this one on my own. Okay. Not gonna be that easy, yeah? Now... It's in this hallway? Oh, I was kind of hoping it'd be that, just that one poison sign. Yeah, and this is kind of going into territory that I've already pretty thoroughly humped. Yeah. Hmm. See, because I was thinking that you maybe go up here and then down through there. But I don't know, maybe not. It's just like, I mean, it's definitely a line of secrets. But, um, easier said than done, I guess. So what actually is that up there? I mean, it looks like I, I definitely went there. I'm just trying to remember. Oh, yeah, that's, uh, I wonder if this... I don't think this can lead anywhere. Yeah, because it's just kind of in the middle of everything. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to do this. Holy cow. So I was right about it being more or less a line of secrets. Now, um... It supposedly connects to that. But I'm not sure how to open that. Oops. Well. Yeah, I'll just keep that enabled. Might as well, right? Maybe that only opens from this side. So where, what other markers? I have that one. Yeah, and all of them are just kind of... We're kind of up along this side. So I kind of get this feeling that this door here has to open. Something as simple as that, is it? <laughs> hmm. No, not so much. And unfortunately, I do not have a level editor installed in the system. <laughs> not yet. Didn't think about that. I'm kind of thinking that one of these teleporters here probably leads to that BFG. There's also a lot of enemies remaining, too. I don't recall seeing any switches that might open that door. Nope. That one's definitely already hit. So is that one. So I kind of had to do that to get to where I am now. Hmm. I... I don't know how I would open that. I don't know why I even pressed on that wall, considering... <laughs> uh, you know, the other thing that I'm noticing, too, is that there's this whole mess here. Maybe that teleporter leads to the BFG. Wouldn't that be funny? Uh, I mean, I do have... I do have cells. I think the biggest problem here is that this, yeah, that stupid secret. They don't come in here, and this is all 20 damaging floor. Which, yeah, that kind of crosses the boundary of being reasonable, that's for sure. Yeah, about that. That is just stupid. How many did I kill? Not many, I'd wager. <sighs> See, that's the thing, I'm gonna run out of armor. There is health in that little room, but... Okay, 
There we go. God, now I gotta do this shit again. But hey, you know what? I'm alive. Somehow. <laughs> I mean, I guess with a rocket launcher would have made that a little bit better, just because um, I think there is enough room where you can get rockets in there without splash damage. But I don't have a rocket launcher. So, um, that's a bit of an issue. And this one is... It's been a weird map so far. Like, it's, uh... I think in some ways better than Halls, but in other ways it's definitely worse. So I don't think I'm gonna rate... I mean, it's still a very good map, I think, overall. You know, by the, especially by the standards of the era, but... I don't know, stuff like this is just so ungodly tedious. So I guess we're going to find out. No, I don't hear any I don't hear any sounds. So yeah, the Baron's literally just Wow. Okay. When did that open or was that always like that? Well, you know, there's multiple doors here, so maybe I hit that one too early. So I have a feeling that yeah, those two doors or t those two switches probably open this whole section up. But yeah, this one is um Oh, and that just brings you to the same place as the other one did. Unless saying that other switch ended up opening up this other secret path here. Well, I guess we'll find out. Yeah, it's in here. It did not. So... <sighs> this is kind of maddening, not gonna lie. These 90s wads are getting to me. I mean, it was... I mean... I think that switch opened up that switch there. <sighs> Fucking hell. Alright, well, I think what I'm going to go ahead and do, because I really do want to figure this out, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video here. I guess save just in case anything happens. And um, I'm going to go ahead and install uh, Slate on my system, and we're going to take a look at this. Okay? BRB. Alrighty, here we go. Complete with the epic music. So, what do we got here? So that is not tagged and uh yeah you definitely have to leave it from the other side so now i guess the real question well there's it's also where the rocket launcher is so i guess the real question is how do you get in there so teleport destination up there there's a lot of wait so that's that Okay, so that's an exit to that one. That's teleport destination from there. Wait, where's that? Have I been there before? Wait a minute, I think I know where that is. So that, okay, that just opens. All right, let's, um. up so that would be right no not there um yeah right in there okay so wait, it's that tele did I oh wait no wait I have it in I have the whole map revealed okay yeah so I haven't been there good <laughs> ah, I thought I was going nuts for a second that's ah, fine that's fine I've been having to, to deal with Slade for the past few minutes, and that's enough to drive anybody crazy. It's, um, I don't know. It's alright, but not my favorite. Almost feels like, I mean, uh, I don't know. I've always had stability issues with it, but 
It always just feels a little bit worse on other operating systems. I don't know. Alright, so this just lowers all these things and, uh... <laughs> just lower it for the fun of it and then just walk away. As you do. Yep, it was down here. So, it looks like I could have actually grabbed that BFG. Possibly. <laughs> before... All of this madness. And it's just a lot of... Oh! Okay, I know where that is. You know, I wonder if that door... Wait, no, this whole thing wasn't a secret. That's kind of funny. This author is a very... Alright, why am I just not using this? <laughs> See, now it's... Ow. I knew those barrels would get me at some point. Sigh. Well, whatever. It's fine. Yeah, we wasted most of a box of shells. Big whoop. Want to fight over it? No. Wow. Armory indeed. All right. I think the rocket launcher is actually in there. die. Hmm. And this just leads to there. You know what? I'm just gonna go back real quick because I know I missed something. Oh, balls. Okay, whatever. Let's just go in here, out through here, and then we can go... Ah, oh, shit. I guess... Hold up. I didn't actually check this in Slade, but... Okay, no, you can't go... You can't go the other way. Alright, good to know. Nope, not this way. I can just go back through... Here. And into this door. Here. Ugh. It's one of those cases where I'm starting to figure out how to navigate the map, and I just... Kind of hate it. <laughs> oh. Okay, so that suddenly opened up. <sighs> it's one of the problems a lot of the 90s maps have, is they just don't really do... sector triggers in any sort of... I guess... standardized way. Maybe standardized way is the wrong way of putting it. How about a way that just makes any sort of logical sense? I mean, this is like... We're kind of getting into, like, Wolfenstein-level moon logic here. Just It's just a lot of wall humping. And if you don't use the map code, whoop, you're going to have a bad time. Oh, look, I finally got backpacks. All right, well, that's open. So, is that close? It does. Okay. Good. That's good. Awesome. Great. So is there anything that I missed? I'm just kind of toggling this back and forth. Because that is the one area I haven't been to. And you know what? Let's uh, just go ahead and uh, alt-tab back into Slade. And that is way up there. Are you serious? You have to go... <sighs> I don't even... <sighs> that is... Oh boy. Okay. So, I don't know if you saw that. I don't know if you uh, bore witness to that greatness. So, let me, let me just go ahead and take you up... Uh, up here real quick. Into this room. Right here. Right here. And we are going to go ahead, hop in here, make the little jump into here, and then we are going to go around to this side. Oh, for the love of all things sacred, why? Yeah, so the teleporter to go onto the BFG platform is basically, you have to activate it from this side, which is really awkward to do because that light is there. 
But you just barely do it. <laughs> wow. I mean, okay, I... I get that that's supposed to be a secret, but... Jeez, uh, I mean, that's like some... Sierra Online moon logic, if I've ever seen it. Wow, alright. Alright, to the switch. There we go. We we did it. 100 <laughs> percent of it with, uh, with some difficulty. Oh, man. As far as... Uh, how I feel about that one. I don't think it's overall as good as the other one. The other one was a week 10 as it is, but this one is just... Uh, it's just kind of a pain. It's kind of a pain. There is actually one thing I'm not 100% sure of, so let me go ahead and just double check that real quick like. Oh, I'm gonna have to... hit Clev anyway. So the thing that I'm not sure about is the yellow key position. I wasn't paying super close attention to that. Right, okay. Okay, so you don't actually need to go into the secret. That was the thing I was a little bit curious about. Can I actually rewind back to the intermission screen? I can! That's actually kind of entertaining. Alright, we're back here now. But, I don't know. In terms of, uh, you know, visual design, I mean, it's, it's overall pretty good. Just kind of like the last one, where the author just used a lot of texture variety, and it generally worked because they weren't, you know, super clashy. But, oh man, the, uh... It's like I said, just like the, uh, getting into the secrets, I mean, that was rough. Not that secrets are really mandatory or anything like that, but... Yeah, I don't know, just overall, the gameplay in this one just felt like a bit more of a pain. I don't know, the other one, the other one definitely had its issues, like, that's why it's a week 10. It's just because, uh, you know, you kind of did have to run around a lot, but things were relatively straightforward. And it had that one cool trap, in the sl you know, the slime trap in the dark room, I like that. And it felt like the other one, like, Halls.Wad was being a little bit more clever, whereas with this one, it felt like it was being a bit more straightforward, but... It was kind of maybe stretched a little bit too thin in some areas. I, I don't know. It felt maybe a little bit overlong. And I don't even think that was because of the secret hunting. It's just the the flow of the map is just not that great, I guess. Like, there's just a lot of back and forth for seemingly no reason for a whole bunch of it. and I, I don't know. I don't feel like this one, I mean, obviously this one's not going to be a 10, but it's still, I think, a good map. I mean, especially when you consider the period that it came out. I'm going to go ahead and give this one a 9. I, I think that's probably probably fair for this one, because it's just... I don't know. I, I just I think the other one was a bit shorter and sweeter, for the most part. At, at the very least, it didn't feel as long. And uh, even if the secrets on that one made even less sense than the secrets in this one, you know, it's just... I guess that's another thing. I, I am kind of, like, factoring that in, I think, subconsciously, because... it's they're, they're, In both maps, they aren't very well designed, but in this one, there's more of them. And that definitely doesn't help. So, I don't know. I mean, it's alright. It's all, I mean, it's, it's more than alright, obviously, but... Yeah, I, I don't know. I think I kind of got all my thoughts out just while I was playing it, and um, now I'm just sort of talking in circles. So I'm going to go ahead and just call it there. 9 out of 10, armory.wad. Download link in the description below. But uh, that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.